I had a very, very narrow miss in the world of cold outreach. I worked with a guy named Ron who I respected immensely. And he showed me, he, he was very talented at the wrong way of doing this. And I, I believed in him, I trusted him, you know, I looked up to him as a mentor. And so when he, we would go to events and conferences and this kind of thing, and he would start to do basically what you would call cold outreach. So he would meet people. Like Michael, you know, you go to conferences and, and you get invited to stuff and, and mixers and that kind of thing. And he was amazing. So he would just walk up to people dead cold. Hey, I'm Ron. Like, in the, hey, you know, I'm Jim. And then they would be off talking and he would, uh, uh, he'd be talking whatever they loved the most, skiing or family or vacation. And then he would segue into business and then they'd be talking about business. Uh, and then they'd have an idea of doing some kind of business together. And then the cards would swap and swap phone numbers and, you know, hugs would happen. And it's just like this amazing inception of a high rapport relationship. I was like, this is how you do cold. This is like amazing. And, and I tried to get good at that. Um, but after a couple years, and I probably, I've probably seen this a couple hundred times where Ron would walk in, form this business relationship, exchange information, everybody agree to do a deal together, cold. I'm like, this, this, this is how he makes his money. Not one single one of those transactions ever happened. So cold is not just about uh, rapport and having somebody like you, understand you, or even want to do something with you. I would say, uh, I'll just use Rex because he knows a lot of my party tricks already, but um, Rex, do you know the secret of great comedy? Go ahead, ask me. What? Say, what? Tell, tell me, Robin. Tell me. Tell me. <laughs> tell me. So it's not just rapport and getting out there and, and having these relationships that, I mean, Ron would make these relationships that were just in my mind like, like perfect. If I had a hundred of the kind of relationships that he could just make like that, I would say I, I would be made because I would have all the money and relationships and deal making capability. But timing is the issue. We're you know, did I have a deal that they could do? Were they at the moment in time when they could do the deal? And that's where all of Ron's um, skills were just completely wasted, is timing was wrong.